That's why you gotta do me a huge favor. You gotta do me a huge favor. You gotta get to the point where you don't need a car anymore. You don't need a house anymore. You don't need to be pushed by anybody anymore. Your dreams, your wives gonna push you. Your spouse is gonna push you. Your child is gonna push you. The need to get better is going to push you because you're closer than you're ever going to be. It's gonna push you. You don't need anything to push you. Your goals are gonna push you. Your dreams are gonna push you. The, 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 the opportunity of a lifetime that happens in this particular time frame is gonna push you. It's gonna drive you. It's going to make you better. So do me a favor as I leave. As I leave, you can't be average anymore, 70%, you can't do it. You can't do it and have what you want. You can't give me 70 and be what you want. You can't give me 70 and do what you want. You can't be average anymore. You can't be good anymore, 80%. You can't be good anymore, 80% and have what you want. You can't be good at something and have everything you dreamed of. To make your dreams become real, to no longer dream them but walk in them, you can't. 90%, you can be good, you can be good, you can be great, but you still won't get it all. I'm telling you, but when you become phenomenal, there's nothing you can't have, nothing you can't do, nothing you can't be. And I just, I believe that you're in this room right now. I believe that we're in the same space right now. I believe we're all in this place together. Listen to me. I believe that we're all in this place together because all of us, all of us hate average. None of us want to be good. And for those of us who've reached greatness, we have a desire to push past greatness and see what phenomenal looks like. So I need everybody in the room, when you think about your goal and you think about your dream, I need you to understand, as I said to my wife in that hospital room, I can, I will, I must. I need everybody to say it with me. I can, I will, I must. Come on. I can, I will, I must. Again, I can, I will. I must. Now, now, for those of you, you want it all. Every single dream. Every single goal. As I say it, for those of you who really want it, you, you're going to say it and you're going to say it, stand and you're going to say it like you mean it. I can. I will. I must. Come on. I can. I will. I must. Come on. I can. I will. I must. Now say it like you mean it. I can. I will. I must. Again. I can. I will, I must, again, I can, I will, I must. Now I need you to think about that loved one, that, 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 that individual that you have to do this for. I need you to say it with me. I can, I will, I must. Come on, for that individual, I can, I will, I must. For that person, I can, I will, I must. For that thing you want to accomplish, I can, I will, I must. Again, I can, I will, I must. Now I want you to think about that hurdle. I want you to think about that thing that keeps pressing you down. I want you to think about that, that mountain that's hard to climb. I want you to think about that thing that you just can't seem to get over. We're gonna get over it today. We're gonna get over it. We're gonna get over it together. I can, I will, I must. Uh, we're gonna add to it. I can get over it. I will get over it. I must get over it. Ready? I can get over it. I will get over it. I must. Come on, come on. I can get over it. I will get over it. I must get over it. I know something about you. I know you're not a quitter. I know you're a survivor. I know you're a survivor. If you're watching me right now, I know something about you. You are a survivor. So I, I want you to get off this. I want you to cut it off. I want you to go in the mirror and I want you to make the rest of your life the best of your life. I can, I will, I must. It's your boy E.T. I have limitless potential. I have all I need inside me. I have opportunity. I have all the strength I need to succeed. I have all the strength I need. I have limitless potential. I have all I need inside me. I have opportunity. I have all the strength I need to succeed. I have all the strength I need. I am grateful for all I have. I am grateful for my life. I am grateful for my health. I am grateful for my desire. I am grateful I was born with fighting spirit. I am grateful for my strength. I will use my strength every day. I will use my spirit every day. I will give my all every day. I am determined. I am willing to sacrifice. I am willing to go the extra mile. 
I will go the extra mile. I will do whatever it takes. There is nothing I cannot have. No one I can't become. I have no limits. I will achieve whatever I set out to achieve. I will achieve my goal. I see my goal clearly. I know when I will achieve my goal. I know how to get there. I will achieve my goal. I will be great. I have set the date. I will not be late. I will be great. I have limitless potential. I have all I need inside me. I have opportunity. I have all the strength I need to succeed. I have all the strength I need. I have limitless potential. I have all I need inside me. I have opportunity. I have all the strength I need to succeed. I have all the strength I need. I have limitless potential. I have all I need inside me. I have opportunity. I have all the strength I need to succeed. I have all the strength I need. I am determined. I am willing to sacrifice. I am willing to go the extra mile. I will go the extra mile. I will do whatever it takes. There is nothing I cannot have. No one I can't become. I have no limits. I will achieve whatever I set out to achieve. I will achieve my goal. I will do whatever it takes. I will do whatever it takes. I will be great. I have set the date. I will not be late. I will be great. I am a winner. I am a fighter. I am a beast. I am a machine. Success is mine. There is no doubt. It is mine. I, I can. I will. I will. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you came from. I don't care what your past is like. I don't care what your stress is like. I don't care what stress you're under. I don't care what problems you have right now. I don't care what you don't have right now. All I care about is what your mindset is like in terms of today and your future. Are you going to make today count? Because that's all you can control. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter where you start, guys. It doesn't matter what talents you're born with. It's about where you finish. And this race isn't over. It's not over. You could still come in first in the marathon. But you gotta start today. You gotta start now. You have everything you have. Everything you need is inside you. It doesn't matter what you don't have now because you can go get it. But it starts today. It starts with a commitment. It starts with a principle. It starts with a discipline. It starts with effort. It starts with energy. It starts with an idea that you're going to make today count. And a lot of people want to know what my routine is like. Well, it's predicated on that idea that I'm going to make today count. And that means that before everyone is up, I'm going to have entered a peak state already. I'm here to help you. But you have to help yourself. No one's going to do it for you in terms of the action. But you gotta say something with me. I'm going to make this thing work. I'm going to live out my dreams. I'm going to live out my purpose. I'm going to be who I was destined to be. I'm going to fulfill all of the tasks necessary to live out that purpose to become who I really want to be not to be who I am shackled by in the past not live in a world of constraint how do you stay driven I'm gonna ask you a question how don't you stay driven if you're so ambitious show me want to be an anomaly you have to act like one don't give a
about tomorrow. I care about 36 months from now, 52 months from now, 83 months from now. What did you do from Friday 5 p.m. until Monday 7 a.m.? I'm just curious, like, and I don't think you shouldn't have a weekend, but I think everybody's ambition actually is more predicated on their actions than their words. My friends tell me all the time they're so ambitious, and I'm like, if that's true, then you punt leisure, and you punt concerts at Jones Beach, and you work. You can't believe how many people, you know how many people used to say the word luck? That, that word luck has gone right back. Like nobody has the audacity to say that to my face now and I love it. And that's why I did it. I did it, I made it for you because you can watch it and be like, okay. But I think yours is different. I think a lot of theirs is different. It's because I'm not fancy about it. Document over create. I'm super not interested in being fancy. I'm willing to work. I work harder than everybody in this room and I swear on my life, I'm positive. Because you can only tie me. And so, I'm just not fancy. Like, I'm gonna win and I'm gonna continue to win and I'm gonna be real f***ing big. And I'm never gonna forget what I'm about and I like getting my hands dirty and I'll answer that email and I'll stop and have that conversation and I'll take that pitch and I do unscalable, not the right use of my time. 50% 50% of my day, every day, for the rest of my life, because I love the dirt. I love the grind. I'll never get fancy. I don't like fancy, and so that's important to me. Second you think you've won, somebody's gonna creep. Oh, it's, it's so real. That, you know, a lot of these cliches and stereotypes, they're real. There is no loss in going for it. That, yeah, you might get made fun of, and you might have it in your own mind, but I punted every leisure activity in my life, nothing. No weekends, no vacations, zero, nothing, nothing. It's my truth, I didn't take a single vacation day. Never, none, zero, zero, zero. All my high school friends, gone, because I wasn't around. All my college friends, post-college, gone. Girlfriends, nothing, all in. So what did I do? I worked, I worked to such an extreme level. I'm going for it. I'm hustling from 6 to 11 p.m. every day with every second allocated. There is no break. There's no, there's no eat a salad and read Reddit or watch YouTube. That, that is not in my game. Getting your hands dirty under your fingernails, it's the game. The young are the future. And if you notice trends like, oh, they don't use email, you can learn from them or they're watching a lot of YouTube. So the two biggest things are stop being soft and start actually working and getting your hands dirty in the thing that you love. And number two, pay attention to trends around your friends. People aren't starting. They're just not making. They're thinking, they're pondering, they're strategizing, they're debating. I'm just doing it all times. I actually would tell you, I fascinate sometimes over losing everything. And then having you guys write articles like, See, he wasn't that good, he was so foolish. And then rising like a phoenix and being like, you. Because you need to be a practitioner to be good at what you do. I don't wanna be a social media guru that reads a headline from somebody else's tweet. I know every thing that Musical.ly, Snapchat, Vine, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram does. Period. And I sit with all these gurus that sell books too and all these fucking social media experts and corporations and starts. I sit with Facebook and Instagram in meetings where their executives are wrong. Like I'm a practitioner. I really know my and that's important. If you want to win, you have to be able to do that. And way too many people lose that. They forget what gets them there and they're not keeping up with it. And the thing that I do for a living is hard because these platforms are changing every day, every second and a lot of things change. And the things that were tried and true a week ago change and in that arbitrage, in your headline reading, I make money. If you're complaining, like look, if you're, if you're happy and you've got student loans and you've got mortgages and, and you work two jobs but you're happy, good. The problem is there's so many millions of people just sitting around complaining and then they go play Madden for four hours. You have to deal with the reality of the situation. Dwelling and pondering and crying doesn't do and it especially doesn't do in this eco chamber, in this arena, there is no crying. You can cry, you're just gonna lose. And I have bad news about complaining and crying. Let me tell you something about complaining and crying that's really, really gonna hurt for all you complainers out there. Nobody gives a We had a packed day, 
15 hour day. It got canceled. What are you doing in that 15 minutes? And by the way, sometimes those 15 minutes are absolutely worth calling your mom, calling your daughter, FaceTime with your kids. But it's just making every minute count. Every minute has to count. Every minute has to count if you want so much because you just don't have as many of them as you think. You just don't. This is a matter of life and death. I don't know who told y'all. I don't know who told y'all this was about math, this was about English, this was about science, right? And y'all thinking, why do I need math to blow up? Why do I need English to blow up? Look, this is not about, this is not about what you think it is. This is life and death. School is about setting a foundation. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So I need you to try. I need you to try to read every single word. If you don't know it, write it down, look it up. I need you to try to do every single assignment. I need you to try to go to every single class. I just need you to try because I know something about you. I know something about you. I know when you put forth 120% effort, it ain't nothing you can't do. It ain't nothing you can't accomplish. I don't want you to live to die no more. I want you to die to live because I know if you try, I know if you put forth 120% effort, it ain't nothing you can't do. But live in a world of freedom. And that's yours to have. That's a choice that you can make. That's a decision that you can follow through on, that you can carry out. You gotta wanna make this thing work for you. You gotta make today count. What are you doing with your time? Are you wasting it? Are you going to make today count? Because it's precious. Or are you gonna let it just slip away? Let it fade? You need to be in a peak state at all times. That's gonna be predicated on your will, your intensity, your integrity, your character, your energy, your effort to get what you want out of this life. It's on you. I want you to get off this, I want you to cut it off. I want you to go in the mirror and I want you to make the rest of your life the best of your life. I can, I will, I must. It's your boy E.T.